Hello, this is Li, licensed acupuncturist and herbalist. Today I'd like to talk about a back pain and acupuncture. Uh, using acupuncture to treat back pain uh, is very common. But some people saying that, oh, it's not working. Other people saying, oh, it's working after even just two treatment. Why this is the case? Uh, first of all, the causes of the back pain are different. You could have just muscle spasm or herniated disc or osteoarthritis um, or you could have fracture of the spine or you could have spinal stenosis. Those causes um, have different kind of uh, prognosis with acupuncture treatment and you need a different kind of treatment um, and some take longer, some take shorter time. And to induce pain relief, you know, acupuncture can change your chemical, um, like endorphins, serotonin, dopamine, and also acupuncture will relax the muscle uh, instantly. So if you only have muscle spasm because you twisted your muscle in the wrong way, or uh, you overuse your muscle and the muscle just get into a spasmatic condition and protectively in a spasm condition, then that's take like only two, three treatment, then your back pain will go away. But if you have systematic inflammation, for instance, you have osteoarthritis or you have lupus, you have autoimmune disease, that means your blood vessels are inflamed, your nerves are inflamed, then it takes longer time, at least I would say 12 to 24 treatment, you can see the differences. Because first, you have pain relief, but also you need to clear up the inflammation and then reduce the swelling in your blood vessels, in your nerves, and that takes longer time. Once it's, the nerves are irritated um, by like a herniated disc or by um, inflammation, different kind of inflammation, then it takes longer time. Um, so if you want to get faster result, then you need to resolve the systematic inflammation um, by changing your diet, um, by getting rid of old uh, inflammatory chemicals. So using acupuncture can clear up that inflammation by improve the circulation locally and also can help you to uh, balance uh, your chemicals. Um, so when you get to the point that uh, you have to have the surgery, then you could do acupuncture before the surgery because when you don't have any inflammation, you, you have the surgery, then you can recover so much faster. But when you have inflamed nerves and blood vessel, and then um, the surgeons will cut open and then uh, cut the part of the disc, and you may have temporary relief, but the inflammation is still there, and after a few months, your pain came back, and even worse because there is a scar tissue growing. So not only your nerves are swelling, but the scar tissue will gradually build up. So what happens to a lot of patients is Initially, after surgery, they feel great, there's no pain. And after four to five months, then the pain came back, and it's an aching pain, and it never goes away. It's because your inflammation get worse, and your nerves get swollen again. So before you went to the surgery, or after the surgery, and get the inflammation goes away as soon as possible, and also, Using different technique, you can relax the muscle or strengthen the muscle because the herniated disc can be corrected. But if you have weak muscles, then you are going to injure yourself again and causing the back pain lingering there. And the thing is that with weak muscle, you can hardly walk. So that's why people have herniated discs. One person has no pain. The other person will have excruciating pain. And the two factors play a role. One is inflammation. The second is if you have stronger back muscles, then you can hold your spine and the joint in the right position. So if you want to get a long time relief of your back pain 
please go to bostonchineseacupuncture.org and look at all the papers I write about the back pain, how you can prevent the back pain with acupuncture, stretching, exercise, and the diet changes.